Hey everybody, it's Woo Woo. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I went to Walmart one day and the cashier, um, she was waiting on this man and he was, she, the cashier was black and the uh, customer was white. And the customer had said something to this woman, the cashier, and had her really, really upset. I didn't know what was said to her until after the customer had paid for his items and he left. And then it would, when it was my turn, I stood there and I asked her, I said, um, are you okay? And she said, yes. And she said, just a moment. And then she just started crying. And I said, what's wrong? Are you okay? And she said, yes, I am. She said, that customer that I just waited on, uh, she said he asked her, how does it feel to be black? And said that uh, he felt sorry for her. You know, he said, wow, he said, uh, I feel so sorry for you, you know, that you were born black. How does that feel? And I asked her, I said, well, what did you say? She said, I didn't say anything. And at that moment, I put myself in her shoes. At least I tried to. If he would have asked me that. If he would have asked me, how does it feel to be black? And th this is honestly the way I feel. I feel as if I'm blessed. God didn't make no mistakes when he made me a black woman. And I gave birth to black children. Um, I have never in my life ever wish that I was any other race. I am proud. I am honored to say that I am a black woman, uh, an African American, a Negro, even if you want to call me that. Um, God didn't make any mistakes. We may not understand at this exact moment why God has done the things he has done and the things that he are that he is allowing but the Bible tells us that some things will be a mystery I really do believe and I'm not just saying this because of um, a lot of things that have happened to the black race and because we are so so different from any other race and have gone through so much I believe that the mystery behind the black race is is going to shock a lot of people I feel as if I'm royalty I really do I really do feel that the black race is uniquely different for a reason. And I'm not just saying this, I'm really not. I do feel as if I am royalty. You know, maybe some of us struggle harder than other races. But in every race, there's people that struggle financially and otherwise. Um, but I do feel as if there is a, it's a privilege for me to be a black woman. Uh, I think it's because of the mysteries that I don't know, you know, uh, behind the black race. So I truly thank God for for who I am you know and I've never desired to be anything other 
maybe I have desired to have more money and I lie and say I didn't, you know, but to be another race to get the money? No, I've never desired to be another race. I'm very content being a black woman, you know, being black. Um, you know, they talk about white privilege and if they, if that's what they want to believe, then so be it. But you think about all the races, there's more people of color than there are white people. And I think a lot of the target, uh, outbursts that the white race uh, do to the black race, I do believe that it's uh, they're in fear because the white race, if you honestly think about it, the white race is slowly just fading away. It really is. The white race is honestly just fading, fading away. They are not the majority. You know, they are the minority. Because uh, all the other races put together are, are mostly people of color. And they treat us so different. And I think it's the fear of one day um, what goes around could come around. And I think that uh, puts a fear in people. And I, what I mean by that, if the white race honestly think about how bad they have treated every other race, every other race, they have honestly treated every other race as if they were beneath them and treated them bad. But you know what? I, I know for a fact in my heart that if there was a thing called boomerang or what goes around comes around, the white race has nothing to worry about because the black race, the black people would not conduct themselves as like we have been treated. We wouldn't do that. We would not do that at all. And you know what the, the sad thing about it is? Um, oops. The sad thing about all of this is that um, the black race, we were good enough to clean your houses and raise your children. But you they feel as if we're not good enough for anything else. That says volumes. That, 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 that says a lot. The Hispanic people are good enough to come into your homes and clean your homes, but they're not good for anything else. The Asian race is good enough to scrub your feet, but in the white race's eye, they're not good enough for anything else. And no, I'm not saying all white people are that way because uh, that would be a lie. There's a lot of honorable, good white people that are not racist. That um, I can honestly say I have visited and stayed in their homes and hugged and loved on and feel as if they are my sisters and my brothers. But for those that are racist, I can understand, uh, I believe, what they're going through, the fear of the black race, the Indians, the, um, the Mexicans. They have treated them so bad that they are inferior of what could be if there was a thing called boomerang or what goes around comes around and i hope that 
um, it's not like that. I don't think the other races, if things did change, I don't think that they would target the white race and treat them bad. I really don't think that. Um, maybe one day we can all get along and love each other as brothers and sisters that we are. But anyway, you all enjoyed this blessed and wonderful day. And thank you for letting me come into your homes and on your cell phones. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please feel free to do so and watch some of my videos and turn on notifications so you, you know when I'm on. Have a great day.